right, I'm pretty excited here. We got this really cool Fosselin EV charger. This is the Fosselin Smart A01 EV charger. And I've got an Audi e-tron. It's 2019 Audi e-tron. So I'm pretty excited to get this out of the box and find out all the cool features of this Fosselin Smart A01 EV charger. We're gonna need a knife for this. It's got a nice little package that it's uh, all in here. Now, whenever you're using a knife around cables, obviously be very careful and go away from the cable. All right, so, wow. Right off the bat, the quality is pretty impressive on this. It's nicely Velcroed in here in this case as well. I like that, nice and secure. Ooh, pretty. Very pretty. Okay, and then looks like we got a wall mount there. So it's, it's got an included wall mount to secure to the wall. And then got a couple of connectors here. It's gonna have a 110 and a 220 volt connector. And I do have a 220 volt outlet right here that we're gonna be plugging this into. There is the 220 and it looks like we've got a plug-in cable right here. Yeah, right to the top. So that's cool. So we can actually swap these out whenever we want to. So that's going to slot in right there. That makes that easy. And then this is going to be the 110 outlet. So you could keep both of these with you and easily just pull the 220 out and put in the 110. And you're going to, of course, be charging at a slower rate. That's a nice option to be able to have both with you. Plug in right here. There we go, boom, just like that. We are plugged in and get one more thing here in the box. Let's check that out. Yeah, there we go, so I keep screws in there. But this is gonna give us the ability to mount this to the wall and then be able to have a, a docking place and then to coil up the cable around it. So it's gonna effectively be just like that. And of course we'll mount it up higher, but nice. Pretty much includes everything you need to get started. So. Uh, I'm gonna get this set up and we'll dive into the app and some of the other features that we have in it. The Fosselin EV Smart Charger also comes with a very easy to use mobile app when you open up the Fosselin app initially you're going to be uh, prompted to create an account very simple to create an account once you create an account then you can actually add your device i've already added the device it was very simple straightforward it, it instantly found it via bluetooth you can select it and it's going to connect via bluetooth you can see that i am currently in a charging session it is uh, pulling a max of 40 amps. It's been charging for four minutes. It's consumed 0.6 kilowatt hours of energy already, and it's pulling currently 38.7 amps. And down here at the bottom, you can see the temperature, the power that it's pulling, and the voltage. So we're, we're pulling pretty much max on everything here that it's, it's able to pull. You got some uh, settings options in here, history, and you can of course delete this advice. If we go into history, this would then record the history of all the charges that you've done with this charger. We go into settings. We've got a variety of settings here. One of my favorite features here is the ability to actually lock out the charger. So if your charger was outdoors or public, access space uh, because it is ip66 rated so you can put it outside you can lock this out via the app and if somebody were to plug it in their car it just it wouldn't work um, you would have to go into the app and then unlock it to then activate it to be able to be used so that's that's a really great feature right there i like that and then i could stop this charging session right here so if i stop it it's going to ask me to confirm i confirm and now you can see that on the screen there of the charger itself it has stopped charging i could also start it from the app here when we start it we have the ability to select the amperage that we want it to be drawing from this would be the max amperage that it would draw and this is a benefit if you have uh lower amperage draws from whatever 240 volt plug that you have plugged into or you know that you've got a an overloaded circuit you could dial this back to say maybe 24 amps because you don't want to blow the circuit or have a trip. I know that this is a dedicated 240 volt outlet, so no worries there. I'm gonna put it at 40 amps. And then you could also do a delayed start. The scheduling ability or the delayed start ability is a nice feature so that you can charge your vehicle when it is the least expensive for you because a lot of different cities and states have different rates depending on the day, time of day. So 
if it was cheaper for you, say at 11 p.m., you could set this to uh, start charging at 11 p.m. or three hours from now. A lot of great options there with the scheduled charging. Once you have that set, just click save, confirm, and it will begin charging. There we go, it successfully saved it. It's already plugged into my Audi e-tron and now it is turning on. So we can see here that it is starting to charge. We got the blue light going there, indicating that it is sending power. We get that same indication here on the app. This is a great little app. It, it's very straightforward. It's very easy to use. Not a lot of extra stuff that just, it gets in your way. I like how simple it is and how straightforward it is inside of the app. You can have multiple devices. You've got a settings tab down here, which you can change the temperature unit from Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can also go from a dark theme to a light theme if you prefer that. So just a couple of options in there. You can manage your account in here as well. Build quality on the charging cable and the plug itself is really solid. I like this big release button here on the top, a nice, big grip handle here it just it feels really high quality a nice thick cable here for sending it to the vehicle they have done a really impressive job at the quality in which they've built this i'm really liking that it's it's really easy to plug it in uh, for me if i were to stop this i can also stop the charge from here so if i push this button it's going to stop the charge this will go white and then i can just push this button pull it and release it there but you can see there it's the standard ev charger end there and then if i were to start charging again as easy as just plugging it straight in latches locks then this will turn green once it starts pulling current and there it goes green we are charging back over here you can see that it is at the same 40 amp max that it was before so it does look like it defaults to the last amperage that you had selected to charge at which is nice that's a nice feature the other thing i like about this is this whole thing is really portable it comes with a nice case so you'd be able to just throw this into the front of your ev and take it with you if you're on a road trip you just want to make sure you have a good ev charger with you there's nothing stopping you from just Putting this in the carrying case, taking it with you, you'll never be without the ability to charge your vehicle, especially because it has both the 120 and the 240 volt outlets included with the Fulsome Smart EV Charger.